second largest world in Africa and we are not recognized. The presence of local government, the state government, the federal government is not in number up to now. So we think it necessary that we should take it upon ourselves and cry it out to uh, international uh, countries for them to assist us for a better reason. We need development as far as urban is concerned and the local government. Gas. Gas pipeline you are saying today they are taking it from Auburn to West Africa coast. And Auburn, that hold the oil well, no light, no necessary amenities, no water, no hospital, no school. The youth are not empowered. For we don't actually know what is happening to us. If for adventure, the Enigia we have there, if you see the way they are touring with them, it's unbelievable. Our Enigias are not recognized in federal, in state government, or rather local government. Today now have destroyed a lot of damages to the communities, rusting their houses, causing stunted to the growth of crops, and may the children of today remain stunted without growth. It, it causes abortion to the pregnant women. We will be complaining to the federal government to stop flaring gas in our area, yet they refused to listen to us. That is the reason why we decided to invite the foreign observers to come to our aid for assistance. Thank you. Um, there was a federal government directive that gas flaring should stop by the year 2008, but which, of course, Shell influenced. And uh, they have now extended it to 2009, which, of, which is not feasible because the, the proper uh, uh, um, uh, machineries that uh, they need to put in place to achieve this goal is not already there. So now, this, these gases that are being fled are for economic reasons because it is cheaper for you to, 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 to um, exploit oil and the residue gas and waste them like this by burning them. Otherwise, in developed countries, what they do is they transfer these gases and convert them into domestic use, which of course we all use in our homes in the Netherlands and in all other Western countries. And now the environmentalists are saying that there is need for these people to empower the various communities where this gas flaring is taking place so that they can give them a means to have a gas system of cooking. So that instead of burning these gases and thereby constituting environmental hazard to the people who are living within the community, then they can also use them, supply them to their homes, and use it as a cooking gas. And of course, these people can also afford to pay for it if that is what they want. So, but now that is not the thing, but they keep flaring this gas and Nigeria is, has been recorded by, by uh, environmentalists as a country that is producing the, 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 the highest amount of flaring 
in the whole world. And this is strange. And in the United States, the percentage has dropped to almost nothing. And even in the Netherlands, there, there are no gas, uh, gas flaring. So something needs to be done. And just like the argument we're putting across by environmentalists right now, if Shell cannot stop this flaring, then they should stop production. And only continue production when they have finished sorting this problem. Because this gas has been flaring here for how many years? 34 years. 34. For 34 years. 34 years. So the community has come to know this flare as a means of light in the darkness. They've come to see this flare as a means to dry their things. And just like you heard from them, there have been abortions, uh, 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 stunted growths of plants and things like that. And this is a typical example of environmental destruction. And this is what they experience. And this is what they feel, that the outside world is not hearing. So it's not enough, like you said, for those environmentalists to ride on their bicycles and think that they are helping people. This is where they need to be. This is what they need to come and see, so that from here, they can carry out their activism. Thank you. Good morning, my name. Uh, you see workers working now on site. They are doing upgrading. They are upgrading the facilities here. Because they are taking gas from here to Republic of Benin, Togo, and Ghana, three West African countries outside this place. But the place, they are, this place the, the gas is being produced, there is no electricity in it. So we don't know what to do. We are confused. When you talk, they go and bring JTFs come and handle people here. So we want to let the whole world know what we are passing through here. Because we need development. We need light, we need water. We need good roads. We need good, good living. Thank you very much. Line, but they no no current for the transformer. They use it to deceive the deceive the, the community. This is only only the source we have to to benefit from uh, the the government. But they are they are tricking us. We don't know what, what is happening. We complain, but they did. We complain to, to share share revise all to the to the government. But the government push us to to, to the uh, SPDC. So we don't know what to do. The transformer they just put is just for ordinary fans in here. It's not working. For more than ten years ago, they installed it here. That's all. that we are exposing this primary school to the whole world to see that this school is representing host community in Edo State. We want to let the world know that what is obtainable to host community in Holland should be obtainable here. What is obtainable to host community in America should be obtainable here. We want to 
let the world know that whatever they know that is beneficial to every host community regarding to uh, any developed country should be obtainable in our own uh, local government. This is a primary school that the Shell is proud of, that they have donated to the community they have been extracting oil for the past 34 years. You can see this, the chairs donated by Shell. And this school was built in the year 1994 by Shell. You are seeing, I have never seen since I was born that Shell have been building school for community they have been extracting oil from, from with a model block. Today, the school has been deteriorated. No uh, information, nothing coming up, no infrastructure, no amenities, nothing. This youth are not power. Everything remains blackout. Today, you'll be hearing urban from every, everywhere, in part of every part of the world. Urban, urban, urban. You have come to urban to see by your first today. We are also assuming if other foreign observers can as well come down to see by themselves what is exactly happening in Urban. Thank you very much. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Coming from the engine. From the what? Engine. Do you want to grind this guy? You can see this guy. No. He's a very little boy, less than 10 years now. 10 years of age. This is what they do here to survive their living. Without this, there is no way to survive. As you can see, with the condition you are seeing this boy now, is it proper for a charge that the federal government is proud of to take care of, to be in this condition? This is child abuse. This is child abuse. They said uh, they have been complaining, complaining here in Nigeria that they want to empower poverty. You can see to yourself if this is a system to empower poverty or to alleviate poverty. It's just coming from farm, from farm to the machine to mill is cassava. From there now, he's going to pressing. From pressing to, to, to frying before he can turn to uh, uh, money. Now, they have no school here. The school have died, have condemned. They travel from here, from here to the nearby community, is three kilometers away from here. They travel from here to that community to school. At least for every comfortable children that travel from here to that school. Before he got there, everything is off from him. So today, this is what you can see, a critical view of what is happening here. The water situation here, they will move from here, the same three kilometers to the nearby community to get drinking water. Not even portable water from the well, from the condemned well, where they got uh, 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 useless water. They don't have portable water, no light. Not, we are not talking of a light now. Light, light is absolutely cancelled. No light, nothing, nothing whatsoever. This is what you can see to yourself. And we, we need also school. want we need the foreigner to school. come and, see and we need something that will improve us. Something that will make us to classify our village as if we are in the town. We need electricity. Something that is very good that we can classify and say, this is what in Nigeria. We need something better. You see, you can see some students now, they will be at home. They have nothing doing. But we need something, even if it's scholarship you have for us. We will benefit, we, can, we take something from it so that we can sell. This is what a uh, shell comes to come and do in our what, a community. Please, we need it very, very much. Bring it to us. Come and help us. We need your help. Now that we are very bad, there's, uh, the road is bad. You see to our schools, to something, we need something. We need teachers that can teach us. They can teach us something so that we can be a better one in future time. Okay? We need it very, very much. Sir, so please help us. We need it. Thank you, darling.